Hey everybody, Spoonfed here, and we're going on to our next DNS tool, um, which will be DNS Enum. So, yes, and this is something that needs to be fixed in Blackbone too, but that's okay. Uh, database, no, not database. Enumeration DNS, DNS, enum. Alright, so, uh, because your standard in DNS walk except for one, it will will work. Uh, DNS enum has a lot of stuff, but basically, uh, we're just going to do enum. So, we're gonna run it as such. Uh, and the domain name is going to be FBI. All right, so and there we go. So that is a very, 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 very large piece or big uh, list of information actually, and far more than we got with Dimitri. Um, so let's go all the way up so, uh, the host address is this so we know that uh, all the name servers with their respective IP addresses the mail server also not very unimportant they're trying to do a zone transfer uh, by doing um, uh, like getting on the name server you pass a certain piece of information and you hope to get a lot of subdomains from that um, I hope to get one of those uh, soon, like a zone transfer that works. Maybe we can try out my own. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Here you see some um, like Google results, but you will be doing this like far better and worse. And there's no brute force file specified. Uh, let me just look at. Uh, they have a DNS dot text and a DNS big dot text. Mm -mm -mm. Let me just see what uh, DNS text is for because no, it doesn't specify here. So I'm just going to do that. Yes, I thought so. This is a subdomain uh, brute force file, so let me just clear this up. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a more targeted one. Um, so we're going to do threads. Uh, we'll keep that at five. That's that's fine. Uh, Google scraping p the number of um, pages and the fault is 20 and then the s uh, must be specified so the default is 20 pages so it will um, do this to like 45 then s will be specifying that as a 100 max of 100 subdomains then brute force the file will be dns big.txt and here is update the file with in f with uh, valid subdomains uh, update using all update using only google reverse or zone and you, you know you can do recursion on subdomains and then brute force all discover subdomains that have an s record so we'll do that as well and R implies that you have to have F. Uh, yeah. And you can do a who is query, of course, uh, which we will do as well. So we will doing a going to do a delay of five seconds, then a W. And we're going to output it in 
well not this directory so we're gonna output it here and what will be will be doing for subdomains uh, well let's do the other one so we'll do DNS in dot um, NSA dot gov as you can see the line like does not work correctly and you still need to fix that and then we'll do the host which is NSA dot gov so we'll press enter and watch everything go all right as we want <laughs> all right Google is blocking our queries that could be Google has a tendency to do that um, if you're doing a lot of like sort of half automated queries then it will block you which is not a not a problem at all So that one can go away. Yeah, yeah, close to me. So we will go up here and see what is going on. We have different host addresses, so that's pretty cool to know as well. So we have different uh, IP addresses, so not one. Two name servers. Uh, we got four mail servers. Uh, here it's been actively refused, so that's pretty cool as well. That that's how it should be, by the way. And right now it's going to brute force the whole directory with God knows what else. So I don't think we'll be finding any subdomains. But that's how you use um, uh, DNS Enum uh, script. So it will give you a ton of information real fast, real quick, uh, and yeah, that's. Uh, Pretty easy to use. So that's not more that I can add to this except uh, getting all the information from this, storing it in some good way, which we'll be covering later. Uh, like at the end, we'll do a um, standard test, like on a uh, simple domain that will give us a lot of information. And uh, then we will. Uh, like generate a report out of that so uh, that's it for me for now I'm just gonna end this because I don't wanna spam the old NSA with uh, my uh, uh, enumeration of subdomains that we uh, not very good uh, so that's it for me for now and um, also I've not specified this in the last video but everything I'm doing here is for educational purposes only plus I wanna clearly specify that I'm not doing this as a preparation for some big hacking you know I'm just using these um, like uh, what you call it uh, I'm, not, I'm not even targets but I'm using these domain names from like the security organizations because I'm really interested in how do they uh, deal with that like um, for example, if we go to this one and we we do this the same with our nice cool friends at the Dutch one and let's just make it so it will only use ten pages it's more than enough. And the rest is all very nice. So go. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So, all right. Um. So here is no error. So we we cannot do it, but we don't get any error. These are name servers. There are no mail servers for this one, and there's no host address for this one. Probably because it's a Dutch one, and it cannot handle Dutch uh, domains. But that's, you know, that's what I want to, that's what I find interesting to see uh, what what all these big security companies, or at least not security, but they uh, should protect their data with efficiency. And uh, I just, I'm just interested in uh, how they do it, or if they even do it. So don't, don't see this as a big preparation for some government hack of the NSA or CIA or FBI or God knows what else uh, other kinds of uh, 
uh, organizations are out there. Um, this is just to show you how the tool works and to make it a bit more exciting. Uh, so yeah, but again, this is all for educational purposes. So this, I'm not doing this so you can go around um, hacking all kinds of stuff or whatever. Not with DNS queries, you cannot do anything yet. But um, yeah, so uh, it will be specified in in all descriptions that I'm not doing this to like make an army of hackers. I'm just wanting to show you what kind of information flows where, from where to where. Um, or to what destination, what happens with it, and uh, and I think about a couple of seconds, my cat will knock a small plate off my table, so I will go right now. <laughs> 